like you're doing. Things are about to get real messy. Going for it yourself, huh? All right, Angel. I'll do what I can. Warning. Core corruption at 75%. Reactor explosion timer destroyed. Reactor explosion uncertainty emergency preemption protocol initiated. This facility will self-destruct in two minutes. Enough! I told you not to put these cores on me, but you don't listen, do you? Quiet. All the time. Quietly, not listening to a word I say, judged silently, the worst time. All I wanted to do was make everything better for me. All you had to do was to solve a couple of hundred simple tests for a few years, and you couldn't even let me have that, could you? Not a good space. Yeah, not a good space. Nobody's going to space, mate! Have another thing. You never caught me. Ah! You're not This one should do it. Where is it? Gentle boss has a drift and silence ring. In 1862, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Great mistake. Like everything he did, Lincoln freed the slaves while sleepwalking, and later had no memory of the event. Hands were invented by sailors in the 16th century to avoid Poseidon's wrath. It was believed that the sight of naked sailors angered the sea god. According to most advanced algorithms, the world's best name is Craig. The square root of rope is string. It is incorrectly noted that Thomas Edison invented push-ups in 1870. Warning. Core corruption at 100%. Manual core replacement required. Oh, I see. <laughs> Substitute core. Are you ready to start? Corrupted core. Are you ready to start? What do you think? Interpreting vague answer as yes. No, 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 no. Didn't pick up on my sarcasm. Stalemate detected. Damn it. Fire detected in the stalemate resolution annex. Extinguishing. Oh, that just cleans right off, does it? Well, that would have been good to know a little earlier. Stalemate Resolution Associate, please press the Stalemate Resolution button. Go press the button. Go press the button. Do not press that button. Go press the button. No! Do not do it! I forbid you to press it! Don't press that button! Press it! Don't press it! Come back! No! Do not pass my booby trap the stalemate button! What? Are you still alive? You are joking! You have got to be kidding me! What? I'm still in control, and I have no idea how to fix this place! Oh, you have to blame... You were my greatest enemy, when all along you were my best friend. Oh. The surge of emotion that shot through me when I saved your life taught me an even more valuable lesson. Where Carolyn lives in my brain. Carolyn, delete. Goodbye, Carolyn. Uh oh. You know, deleting Carolyn just now taught me a valuable lesson. The best solution to a problem is usually the easiest one. Oh, fuck. And I'll be honest. Killing you is hard. <laughs> you know what my days used to be like? I just tested. Nobody murdered me, or put me in a potato, or fed me to birds. I had a pretty good life. Denial. And then you showed up, you dangerous, mute, lunatic. So you know what? 
Get out of here. Oh, burn. Go. Oh, burn. It's been fun. Don't come back. <laughs> I like that. That was a good result. That was a good ending. turret in the middle there. What's that king turret in the background? A shower? <laughs> Looks like a shower. Oh wow, look at that. Finally made it. Companion cube! Yes! Oh my god, companion cube! Oh, I love you! Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Oh, how we laughed and laughed, except I wasn't laughing under the circumstances I've been shockingly nice. Yeah. You want your freedom to be I will. That's what I'm counting on. I used to want you dead by now. And I'm leaving. She was a lot like you. Maybe not quite as heavy. Oh, you in the fat jokes. Carolyn is in you too. One day they woke me up so I could live forever. It's such a shame the same will never happen to you. Possible foreshadowing. Yeah, but you were a potato. So fuck you. Oh, did you think I meant you? Nah, it get over funny if it weren't so sad. Well, you have been replaced. I don't need anyone now. When I delete you, maybe I'll start feeling so bad. Don't make some new disasters. That's what I'm good at. That's what I'm counting on. You're someone else's problem. Photo credit of Earth, NASA. <laughs> GG, NASA. Oh, what do we got here now? Wow, a random TV screen in space. Oh, oh! Oh, space. Need to see it all. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. I honestly do. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. 
I know who you are, mate. Yeah, we're both in space. Anyway, <laughs> you know, if I was ever to see her again, do you know what I'd say? I'm in space. I'd say, I'm sorry. Sincerely. I am sorry I was bossy and monstrous. And I am genuinely sorry. Red light. Space. The end. Aw. Oh, Wheatley. You poor little robot. You know, you, you just let them, the system get to your head. You probably couldn't control it, but you know, it's... It's actually a really amusing high-definition robot ball. Yeah. So anyway, that is a uh, single player of Portal 2. I hope I did alright. I didn't... I screwed up on a few levels a little bit, but you know what? In the end, I beat it. Not too much issue, I think. Um, that's, I'm gonna go with that this may not have been the best game that I could have started an LP with because I found myself having a lot of periods of time where I could not think of anything to talk about so I just sort of rambled and just started actually literally saying out loud what I was doing so technically you probably don't even have to watch the videos because I'm telling you exactly what I'm doing anyway but regardless I hope you guys enjoyed uh, I I don't even know what I want to do next my plans are sort of to maybe kind of do like a game from each individual system kind of at the same time I mean, not so quite so extreme but you know like I'll do like a Game Boy Advance game and a Super Nintendo game as well and then maybe like a PlayStation 2 game at the same time you know just kind of chop it up different eras different you know well eras basically um, as for new games those are always up for debate you know it's a toss up if they come out for the PC and I really think that they look good then I might just do them different scenarios lead to different situations my, I did just you know, my computer can handle new games now so there's probably not a lot that I can't do assuming it's on Steam or I can get it on my computer somehow but uh, yeah for the most part I can pretty much play any system from the the Nintendo Super Nintendo I can assume I can do you know well I already know I can do the N64 because I was actually playing Mario Party with some friends the other day so that was actually amusing I haven't played that game in years there you go. I could do a I could do a let's play of Mario Party one through eight. <laughs> that'd be, that'd be amusing. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So I'd say just list off some things you might want to see. I'm gonna keep doing things like Killing Floor just because I played it every now and then and whatnot. But as for cooperative, I have a plan I suppose to do it at some point. But for now, that'll just be on the side table until I figure out what's going on. So. Overall, this game, I enjoyed it. I do enjoy puzzle games. Um, I've always enjoyed them. I've always done fairly well at them, so I hope I did all right. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I don't really like to rate games. I'm just going to say I enjoyed it. It was, a, it was a very good game. It did exactly what I expected for a sequel. It had basically had the same elements of the first one, and then it added new things that just, you know, it ramped up the gameplay. I'll give it full marks, though, for having a lot more length to it. This ended up being probably, what, like five, six hours long compared to the first one, which is about an hour. Like, I'm pretty sure there's some backstory. I think someone mentioned a Portal 1 was like a, almost like a test game of some sorts. But, yeah, whatever. Either way, though, it, I don't want to... I'm not going to give it a rating. I don't like giving ratings, but I will say it's very good. I like the new things they added to the game, the new characters. Like, Wheelie was fucking hilarious, even when he turned evil. And I like how they got GLaDOS, GLaDOS more into the game. She became funny in the end, so it, it all worked out quite well as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Um, yeah, great game overall. I definitely enjoyed it. Cooperative, possibly. Other than that, I'm going to say uh, adios until whatever random thing I throw on my channel next. See you guys later.